Hello friends, Osiris here and a brand new terror raid event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all of the details of this new event in today's video. So on the back of that Pokemon Day Presents where we had the three back-to-back -back seven star terror raids of the Venusaur, Blastoise and then the Charizard, we finally got a next terror raid event announced and it will be happening later this week. Courtesy of Cerebi posting out just a few minutes ago as of recording this video, the next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Terror Raid event has been announced. Focuses on Brute Bonnet for Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Hands for Pokemon Violet. The event runs from the 22nd of March later this week until the 24th, so just over that weekend. Further details can be seen here. These will just be five star Terror Raids, so skipping out a seven star Terror Raid event this weekend and focusing on these Paradox Pokemon that will be coming in their respected games unfortunately it would have been nice to see a version exclusive appear in the opposite version this weekend for this event but it looks like scarlet players who can already go and catch brute bonnet down in area zero will have this pokemon featured and the same can be said for pokemon violet players with the iron hands although you can post these online for other players with the opposite version to come in and get them with their own ot from these raids but aside from that there isn't really anything exclusive about these events happening this weekend as it stands these are the only details we've got for this event it does look like you would kind of assume that we would see a variety of different terror types for these pokemon when the raid event goes live but it looks like the signature terror type for the brute bonnet is going to be poison terror type and the iron hands will have the grass terror type as its kind of primary terror type which is good for competitive players but outside of that there isn't really any draw to go in and take part in these raids, although they will be a little bit fun. But if you have got the Charizard Terror Raid in your game right now, it's probably worth keeping a hold of that and not going online. So you can still farm for Herba Mystica until that next 7-star Terror Raid event is announced. Of course, as well, we might get the announcement of a new mass outbreak event happening as well. We haven't had one of those since the Syrian Volta was announced around that Pokemon Day event as well. And normally when we do see a five star spotlight terror raid event happening in game, it does indicate that we might get something like a mass outbreak event alongside it. So do keep an eye out on the channel. We do get an announcement about that. We will cover that as soon as possible. With that, that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video that you need to be made aware of. What's going on this week in regards to the world of terror raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Let me know down in the comment section below. Will you be taking part in this event or will you in fact be keeping one of those Venusaur, Blastoise or Charizard raids that you might still have in your game to continually farm easier for those Herba Mystica because I feel like if it was me right now, I'd probably rather keep those until a new 7-star Terror Raid is announced. I was expecting a 7-star Terror Raid to be announced tonight, but it looks like it might be another week away before we do see that. And that might get announced on the 24th when this event finishes over the coming weekend. Hope you found today's video useful, friends. If you have, do drop a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Until the next one, take care and bye. Bye-bye.